everyone, it's me again. I know, I know. <sighs> oh, nobody's not cheering. Woohoo! Okay. Oh, oh! Yeah, I get one cheer! Woo! By the way, that's my friend Love. She's she's Hi. typing with me. So anyway, I'm going to be doing the Larry Silence and Tag. Thing. Oh, and just by the way, I'm in Florida, that's why I'm in this room right now. There's no way Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I need to get my phone so I could um make the video. No, I'm not hanging up on you. And since I haven't been here in so long. It's time to do a happy dance. It's my thing. I know. I don't know why. So kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. And tell me I'll see you again. Cause I don't know if I can let you go. So kiss me. Do some wall twerking. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so the first question is favorite fanfic. My favorite fanfiction? I'm sorry to say this. <laughs> My favorite fanfiction. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I don't know. I don't know. There's just too many. I don't know. <laughs> don't make me choose just one. <laughs> Second question is worst fanfic. The worst fan fiction I've ever read is 99 Days Without You because I cried so freaking hard and I'm never going to read it again because just no. 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 Listen, listen, listen. Me and her read it together. Say say, say what you think about it. It was horrible. I cried the whole time, but it was a good Larry fanfic. I think the babysitter is worse because that's a child read. You know I'm right. Sh Shut up. Number three is what would you do if Larry came out today? I'd probably be scrolling through Twitter like, oh, what's up? And then stop. And then say Larry came out and then have a video and then I'd watch the video. And I'd be like. Who talks? 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 Who talks?
tops. She, dude, you cannot be in this video. You're interrupting my video. But you love me. They share. Remember that clip? I'll put it in right after this, where it's like, oh, how, where do you, how, who's in front, who's behind in Mario Kart? Oh, we share, but like, whenever Harry's like a bit tired, to go push him along. Or no, when Louie's a bit tired. Yeah. So, the clip is right here, just so you guys know. I'm really obviously you guys, um, you have a, a special relationship that people have picked up on. So you must get quite competitive when you're saying things like Mario. Um, so who usually is in front and who usually kind of gets behind when you're saying Mario? So between me and Louie, who's in front of this time? Yeah, I think we kind of share that. Really? Um, yeah, sometimes you take the front. Sometimes, sometimes I take the front. You know? If he's a bit tired, I'll go yeah. behind and push him along. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, you know. We're, we're both, you know, both kind of generous to each other, so we think that, you know, sometimes you should get to your heels to go first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nice. nice. And what about Number seven is favorite lyric, on stage lyric moment. <sighs> hmm. 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 The one where Harry was like, in Louis' ear, and then Louis got up and was just like big on freaking boner in his pants. It's just... <sighs> Is it hot in here? Woo! 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 Number eight, eight, eight is favorite tweets that they have sent each other or been tagged in with each other. Or just, just favorite tweet, okay? Just, just favorite. Um, my favorite tweet is always in my, always in my heart sincere sincere since I can't say it <laughs> I can't say it since since <laughs> oh my god I can't say sincerely sincere since <laughs> sin okay you know what I'm talking about people. Next one is favorite jealous moment. My favorite jealous moment is the one whenever the creepy news got the little interviewer guy touched Louis' leg and then Harry had to get his property on and they touched his leg and like patted it and like. Number 11 is favorite. Well, this one is going to kind of be like put in two or into one. So 11 is favorite fetus moment and favorite new moment. My favorite fetus moment was the hug. The hug. The hug. The hug. The hug. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. The hug. The next one, well, uh, like I said, the next one is um new moment. So, my favorite new moment? Would have to be the one where like Louis is singing and then he signs like I love you to Harry. How do you do a V? V. V. Love you. Number twelve is why do you ship it? Okay, number one, who does not ship Larry? Anymore. Number two is just like, you can just see it. It is just like, you know the way that you look at your crush? Yeah, they look at each other like that. So that that's why I ship Larry. Number 13 is what would you do if Louis and Eleanor actually got married? Be like, okay, um, I guess we were wrong. Um... Go enjoy your new wife. I love you. Anyway, I don't care. That is where we are different. And then, I'd go and cry in the corner for ten freaking hours. I'd probably cut somebody. Yeah, I probably did too. I don't know if you like, heard that. She said she'd probably cut somebody. Yeah, I'd cut somebody like the nearest person to me, just like in a hundred million pieces. And then I'd feed them to my dog that I don't own.
Number yeah. four trait is how would how do you think Larry came, would come out? I think it would just be all normal like, and it'd just be like in like the interview, and then just be like, oh yeah, me and Louie are together, and then everybody in the, the crowd just goes, oh, oh. And I I like how I'm just like I start over here and then I just kind of move closer. I don't I don't know what's going on there. I'm sorry, but um. Number 15 is what do you think about het girls? I don't really care because I have a friend that's a het girl, but I, I tend to get in fights with het girls a lot. But I could still, if they would say they would be cute together, like if they if they admit that they'd be cute together, or if they did come out, then they wouldn't care then I can be friends with them. If they are just like sitting here like, oh my gosh, we're gonna get married and have kids and I'm gonna name one of them Darcy and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we're just gonna like get married. I have like all of these posters on my wall and I'm gonna, oh, it's gonna be so great. And I just, I love him so much. No, I, no, I can't, I, I, let, let's not, just don't do that. Have you read Het? That's the next question. I have read Het once, and I think that Het, that I remember the Het fan fiction name. Well, I've read it twice. I actually read two of them, but I. Okay, so okay. Anyway, the first one I ever read was Lights, and it was a Harry Styles fan fiction, and I read it for school because I don't think my teacher, because we had to write summaries for the, the the homework, and I don't think my teacher would like it if I wrote about gay people. So I just. And I, and I just imagined um, the girl in the fan fiction as Louie, and it was just all okay. And it didn't have that much smut, so it was okay. And the second one was after, because everyone was freaking talking about it. I was like, okay, okay, I'm going to give this a chance. Because I know they're making it into a movie and stuff. I couldn't, re I couldn't get through that fan fiction. I didn't finish it because... <sighs> Excuse me while I throw up. Love, love hung up. Change of location. And up in, in hair. Yeah, I got really, 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 well, I don't know. I just, I went to eat after I made that last thing. And then I came back. Then I got tired. So then I just stopped filming for that night, and I was going to do it the next night, but then I forgot, and then I was going to do it the next night, then I didn't do it, then I was going to do it the next night, then I didn't do it. So now I'm here, back in North Carolina. Ding! But anyway, as you can see, I got a new bed. Um, and I rearranged my posters a little bit, and the, this, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to fix it. But anyway. Next question is, um, do you think their parents know? Of course they do, obviously. <laughs> Especially in the Xbox days, like, they would make it so obvious. They're just like those parents that were like, oh, look, let's go and tweet. Oh, hey, look, my second son is over here, and stuff like that. And I'm just like, yeah, real subtle. The next question is, which parents ship it most? I think it's, I think, hmm, definitely Harry's mom does. I think, yeah, definitely Harry's mom. 100%. Yep. The next one is who in the band ships it more? It used to be Liam, but I think that's starting to change a little bit. I think it might be Niall now. But, because Liam, he's just like starting to get distant lately, and he's just like. But I think I think it's Niall. Now. They used to be Liam. See, like yeah, that, that's that's my opinion. <laughs> and the final question is, how much do you ship it?
this entire planet. Well, that's it for my video, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Like this up. Comment down below on if I should do another, like, One Direction tag or what tag I should do next. Um, thank you for watching. So, bye!